some of you might be familiar with this machine. Scott Campbell modifies Morant's cassette recorders to allow CV control, which is amazing. And I thought to myself, what would happen if you had a reel-to-reel, a four-track quarter-inch that you could have the same control over? And the good folks at Love Magnet Electronics in LA made those exact modifications to this Atari behind me, the 5050. And it's awesome because they added a race head control on all the four tracks so I can do sound on sound or not on all the different tracks individually. And the CV control is quite something. So I'm going to get into those things, exploring that, how you can use it, how I've quantized it so you can play MIDI notes to control actual musical values and how to use the tape machine in a loop mode as a master clock yep <laughs> time to make a loop going to make a five second loop so that's 75 inches at 15 inches per second glue it together and put that loop on the machine i'm doing it like this there's many ways to put a loop on a machine i just found this convenient with the mic stand that i had so there it is loop nice it plays now what we're going to do is see how long it is by recording one gate signal onto the machine and we're going to wait until it does a full loop record that back into pro tools so we can measure the time that it takes for one blip to make an entire loop it's very close to five seconds now we can take that time divided by 16 and print that new track onto our tape Putting it through a noise gate cleans up the signal so it's going to be tracked by this envelope follower and then using this clock divider turned into a signal that can power a kick drum. So we can take this beat, put it on tape and it loops. Oh yeah. Okay, so we've got this on tape, but how about we speed up the tape? and print a spring reverb on that fast tape and then slow it way down. So essentially we're bringing out all of the springy character more as we slow it down. And the beautiful thing is we'll slow it down, but that click track will slow down too and will remain at the correct time and can power a further sequence so we can bring in a bass line and keep writing music. So here's that fast beat printed like this. We're going to slow it down. Yeah. You can really hear that spring. Twang. <laughs> the click track going to all of the modular synths is slowing down. Now we're at this new speed. Bring in some bass. This Turing machine is also synced to the tape machine clock. So what you're looking at here is the QCD from Foramez, which is taking the clock from the tape via the envelope follower and multiplying the speed of it a little bit sending that into the Turing machine which is generating this bass line. Now we're speeding up the tape so everything else speeds up because that bass line was recorded to the tape. You can overdub on it at any speed because even though I'm speeding that whole thing up now you can see the Turing machine is speeding right up so if I wanted to overdub new parts I could. One could. The things you could do. Yep. Synchronized. Here's another example. Speeding up the tape slowly with a bit of portamento. Slow 
writing that down. Oh yeah, this button. That's the half speed mode. After messing around with a lot of scaling, I managed to get the MIDI out of this keyboard into CV. So it was a scale. You can add portmento, a slew between the notes. Very satisfying. Once you start just plugging sound sources in and playing around, it's pretty endless. Because MIDI notes now control the tape, I'm using that Moog pedal to essentially send notes as well. The pedal changes how long it takes to get there. Kind of handy. This is going to put some portmento and bend up. The recording is on the whole time doing sound on sound. As the speed changes to another musical pitch, not an arbitrary value, which keeps the whole thing in tune. Let's record this chord. Taking record off, you can switch to sound on sound mode here on any track and also use this CV input to input new pitches, in this case quantized ones. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Let's add a bit of portamento slew and slowly come back down to a G. And with the erase head off, you can overdub over this, playing at the different speed. Let's transpose the whole phrase up and overdub Sending an LFO into the tape CV adds a vibrato. This joystick controls the speed and the amount of the wobble. Ah, the possibility is endless. Hope you've enjoyed some of this. Thank you once again to Love Magnetic Electronics. Bye-bye.